Hey, I'm back. And uh, just wanted to show you that they actually did name a place in Florida, Bimini. You know, um, it's right here below St. Augustine, it looks like, or right above it there, small area. Um, so they kept with the program. But as I was reading about St. Augustine, I ended up running into this, right? Now, check this out. This is in Spanish. Um, when I actually used the, uh, when I actually used uh, my phone, it actually allowed me to translate it, right? Because I was sitting here fumbling and bumbling through uh, the majority of this, you know, just trying to comprehend, uh, you know, tr and translate it the best way I could. Because, like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I know Spanish, but I'm not like great at it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but when I translated it, I, I had to with my phone because it showed this image right here, right? And I said, excuse me, let's look down here. Dos Los in Dos, Florida to Mexico. Ah, I was like, all right, now, I, uh, so, uh, so as I used their tr the translator from my phone, I got it with this, right? Let's see, will this allow it to, here we go. Took a screenshot and I posted it, so it, it, it would help me out in this for this video. But look at it says there: from the Indians of the coast of Florida to Mexico. Now the rest of that article seems like they just really pushed Christianity and their views on it. This one large section seemed to be mostly about what the Indians actually uh, said and what they were believing in their one God and all that stuff. Um, what did they say here? I said this was his name. Um, let's see. We asked them what uh, his name was, and they said, "Ah, uh, a gore." I, I hope I said that right. Um, yeah, but I I put this on my Google Plus page. I seen this, and I thought that was crazy. I thought it was interesting. Um, I thought that it, you know, at least from that perspective, I hope this is gonna. Hope you can see that. Did that. Does that make it better? Because look at these people right here. Look at them. Cause you know what? I, you know what else I found in this image? If you take to. Let me see here. Let me leave this. Let me see. Go ahead. And see if I can get out of here. Just a moment. Just right here. Let's see. No, that's not what I want to hit. Uh, give me that red hair. Look like a clown there. Check this out. Bimini and Guapa New Guinea. something because my sister and I were actually just talking about this the other day uh, I've been she, she's been taking me up on a challenge and she's been reading some of the Old Testament and uh, there was a verse she read I wish I could remember the book but it talked about how we what we painted our, our, our faces um, and, and then we were betrayed by our lovers and stuff like that you know so on and so forth and and and, and I gave her my best you know argument to what I thought it was that we you know, we did these things when we greeted people that came to us. Because I was thinking about Mexico, specifically the Mayans and the Aztecs and stuff like that. You know, painting your faces. You brought your best of what you had down there to them when you greeted them. You know, they what, what Christopher Columbus and all them wrote. You know, they, they, if you asked them for anything, you asked the Indians for anything, they would give it to you. Uh, no questions asked. You know, they were peaceful and they, were, uh, they, they, they weren't an, an evil people, you know. 
and then look at Christopher Columbus and then did to him. Now, what, here's what's crazy about the this video I'm using. <laughs> Is that this video is about Christians bringing them Jesus Christ? <laughs> oh, got on my nerve, got on my nerve, stuck a nerve. So I thought it was interesting when the uh, University of Florida International went to Papua New Guinea to study them, that the, the, the people from Papua that you know, claim to have Jewish heritage. So you got an island split where they're, you know, you're already seeing like the different religions being brought, you know, you got them saying they're Jews, then you got them bringing them Christianity. You know what I'm saying? Then they're gonna be confused like our people are, and, 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 and now how are you gonna go back and correct that? It's gonna take a while, right? I hope they have brothers, and I hope they have women or, that are like smart enough to see that Jesus stuff and start making comparisons what they already know and be like that Jesus stuff is BS when they try to use all that you know Jesus is the Messiah let's go to Isaiah you know what I'm saying the Christians push Isaiah you know what I'm saying Isaiah 53 and 6 but what they didn't tell you and what it took me all these years one day when Lex was you know you know made a video and I commented and I asked him could he explain Isaiah 53 6 he said no he said go back and read it it's about you and it took me probably it's about a week ago Three years after Lex told me to do that, about a week ago, I was reading it and I realized that Isaiah 50, was it Isaiah 51 through 54 are songs that are supposed to be sung. And they're all about the people. Because all throughout the, other, the, the earlier verses and, and chapters leading up to that, the he that he refers to is his servant. When it says, you know, he was bruised for your transgressions and, and pierced for your sins. Go back to the chapters before, and who was the he he kept talking about? He keeps saying, he, Israel, he, you know, uh, my, um, um, the Hebrews, the Jewish people, uh, not Jews, but the Hebrews, he, Israel, he, Jacob. But then all of a sudden, I noticed they just took that one verse and they said, it fits what we're trying to say about the New Testament. Bam. Just like they were doing with the book of Psalms, where they talk about, you know, Jesus, uh, you know, for the fact that he got, you know, his hands pierced and his feet pierced. Which I know Christians still argue to the day because they say, oh, it wasn't his hand that was pierced. They said there's no way that he would have hung on the cross. They said he must have been pierced like right here. You know what I'm saying? They say he must have been pierced like right here. because it's, it, it, so, so technically then they're not filling the scripture. You know what I'm saying? If they're going to claim that. It's like, oh, that's the only way he could have hung on the cross. But they, the, chapter, the same chapter they used from uh, the book of Psalms, Psalm 69, I believe it was, to try to prove that Jesus, you know, was that person that was pierced, had his hands pierced through, his feet pierced through. Read the whole entire chapter, and it is about a man who claims to be a sinner and a foolish person. So now, are you going to say Jesus was a sinner and a foolish person, and he was crying out for forgiveness? You see what I'm saying? I hope someone on those islands didn't fall for the same trap that I fell for. And because I was born in a Christian society, I was raised by Christians, I just thought, you know, whatever they said was the word, because they know more than me. Now, I hope that they have the, the balls and the, and the moxie to challenge this stuff. Did you see that person back there? Look at that. He is yellow. Look at his brother. Look at him. She's brown. And he's yellow. See that? You'll see it when you see the video. Like, I'm at the point where, I mean, I'm, I, I, I can't stand the way the, this we're governed to the point where I just wish I was living even if it is primitive I don't care I'm not a high maintenance person I just wish I could be living with people like that I wish I had a sense of community like that here comes the Christians on the big white bird we come in peace to teach you about Jesus to destroy to destroy the heritage you already have because it's not good enough. My God is better than yours. He loves you. Look at him. Look at that head. Love it. I. Uh,
that's enough I can stomach. But if you if you want to check this out, you know what I'm saying? I, um, let me see here. It's Bimine New Testament. You know, I, I, I just I just can't do this. Anyways, it's M.W. Smith and I'm out, everybody.